Hey everyone, I'm Dan Baruch, CEO and co-founder of Slice Engineering. Today we're thrilled to showcase our partnership with CraftBot and introduce you to the CraftBot Flow IDEX, a printer that's been known for its reliability and performance. We're excited to demonstrate how our technology seamlessly integrates with their systems to further enhance their already impressive track record of reliability. CraftBot has been a market leader in the professional desktop 3D printing industry for many years. They're known for their robustness and their user-friendly designs and what they call the CraftBot tank, which is this big frame. In fact, the very first 3D printers we used here at Slice were the previous generation CraftBot machines. We've always admired their commitment to building quality, no-nonsense machines, and recently we finally had the opportunity to work directly with them to bring even more innovation to their product line. Today we're focusing on the CraftBot Flow IDEX. IDEX stands for Independent Dual Extruder. Those independent extruders offer unique versatility and performance, especially for the price point, as there are only a few professional level IDEX machines available on the market. The CraftBot Flow IDEX has the features you would expect from a pro level machine, like mesh bed leveling, built-in camera, a web interface for remote printing and monitoring, filament runout sensor, the rigid steel frame I referenced earlier that has built-in linear rails, and of course a huge print volume. Interestingly, the user interface, or HMI, human machine interface, now runs off of a Raspberry Pi, which provides some cool future development options. With its dual extrusion capability, you can print in a couple different ways. Mirror mode, where you have a right and left version of the same part. That could be useful for things like insoles, for example. A parallel mode, where you're printing the same identical parts next to each other, which is like having two printers in one. Or a multi-material or multi-color mode, where you have two different filaments feeding into the same part, but with the separate print heads. This is similar, but a little different from an AMS type setup where one filament is being pushed into a single print head and then retracted. So with IDEX, you can avoid using something like a purge tower, and you can create some really unique and complex designs with the IDEX technology that you can't do any other way. We've been working directly with CraftBot on the latest update to their flow machines, which includes a brand new extruder from CraftBot, coupled with our copperhead hot end and gamma master nozzles. The upgrade has some key performance improvements, namely improved flow rate from our copperhead hot end, increased power output, more extrusion force from the new CraftBot extruder, improved printing of flexible filaments, and abrasion resistance from our gamma master nozzle. You're also going to see superior bridging performance and a reduction in heat creep, which is the thing that causes filament jamming due to the bimetallic heat breaks as part of our copperhead upgrade kit. When it comes to 3D printing, understanding the difference between linear speed and volumetric flow rate is crucial. Linear speed is measured in millimeters per second, and that's the speed that the print head is moving, while the volumetric flow rate is measured in cubic millimeters per second. That exponent is pretty important. With this upgrade kit, you can increase your volumetric flow rate, meaning you can push more plastic out in a shorter period of time, which also leads to faster linear speeds before you start to compromise on quality. Here are the technical specifications for the CraftBot Flow Upgrade Kit. The CraftBot Flow Upgrade Kit is a drop-in, plug-and-play replacement for the previous generation CraftBot Flow hotends. Utilizing the stock heatsink makes installation a breeze, allowing you to reap the benefits of the copperhead hotend with minimal printer downtime while you're switching over. The kit also includes a Gamma Master Apex nozzle for abrasion-resistant printing. Our copperhead bimetallic heat breaks are 60% more efficient at heat creep reduction than monolithic designs. Using the same high-strength copper alloy that we designed for optimal thermal conductivity found in our mosquito heat breaks, our copperhead heat breaks boast a higher temperature rating and flow rate potential over PTFE-lined heat breaks like you see in a lot of lower-cost machines. The copperhead hot block, named for its hardened, nickel-plated copper alloy construction, is rated 450 degrees Celsius and has 10 watts more heating power than the previous generation CraftBot Flow hot end. This fast-heating hot block enables printing of nearly every commercially available filament, from basic PLAs up to engineering polymers and features wrench flats to simplify nozzle changes. CraftBot Flow Upgrade Kit is compatible with all of the range of CraftBot Flow generation models, including the Flow, Flow XL, Flow IDEX, and Flow IDEX XL, which is the tall boy. The kit from Slice includes everything you need for the hot end upgrade, including the copperhead hot block, the copperhead heat break for the CraftBot Flow machines, the Gamma Master nozzle, which in this case is an Apex style, which is a longer pointier version of the nozzle, and a 0.4 millimeter. A custom industrial heater with the correct connectors on it that is a 50 watt 24 volt heater, 
uh, boron nitride paste, and of course we have to throw in some of our slice engineering stickers. Our copperhead upgrade kit is compatible with both the original extruders from CraftBot as well as the new ones that they're rolling out now. If you want to get the full benefits of printing with flexibles, you're going to want to pick up the extruder directly from CraftBot. Let's see the CraftBot Flow IDEX in action with our upgrade kit installed. The kit is designed to reduce print time and also ensure consistent layer adhesion and detail. If you're as excited about the CraftBot Flow IDEX and the upgrade kit as we are, click the link in the description below to get yours today. You can also get the kit alongside their new extruder directly from CraftBot or through their reseller network. They have a responsive fulfillment team in Memphis, Tennessee that keeps all the parts and printers you need on hand. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to stay updated with our latest innovations and tips in 3D printing. And if you're looking for more tips and tricks, we made a guide called Seven Things You Should Not Do With Your 3D Printer, which you can download for free in the description below. Thank you for joining us on this journey to push the boundaries of what's possible with 3D printing technology. And as always, don't forget to stay zesty.